So the idea that if it rains, we're going to have people come sit in here means that all of my stuff's going to have to sit out in the rain. I like my stuff. I don't, not crazy about it, but these are the sacrifices we make when the woman says she's got something she wants to happen, I guess. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. We've got a couple different projects going on today. I'm going to do some cleanup with the skid loader, maybe build some seasonal stuff, and do an update on the pond. One thing I wanted to show you guys, I don't think I've ever really shown this before, is that my front door is, you know, 10 feet right there. This is our front porch, and that is the view of the pond, which is why I put a lot of thought and energy into the aesthetic of the pond. It's the first thing we see when we come out in the morning. Early in the morning, my wife walks the dog right here. And so I want to have a really nice view there. That's why we're working on, we added the, the bridge and the island and the windmill, and then we're going to add another bridge to it. Right now, let's go take a look at how dry it is because the next two days, we're supposed to get a huge amount of rainfall and hopefully start to fill this thing back up. So at most, it might be 100 yards from the front door down to the pond. A couple people who've watched the videos and then visited said that they were really surprised by how close this is. We've got 20 acres here, but all of the parts you see are tied into a three to five acre window. There's another 15 acres we don't spend much time on right now. So the wind is going pretty good. You can see the windmill's doing its job. We've got the two aerators out here. They're bubbling pretty hard. That windmill really does a nice job aerating. The pond overall is down about three feet, but you can see these puddles right here have filled back in. We got just enough rain to fill those in. And I'm hoping that we've got water back across this dry cracked area right here in the next two days. We've got a, a big group of people coming out here for a little get together. And so I've got a lot of work I need to do to get cleaned up for that. But I'm going to bring the camera back down here while it's raining and then after it rains and we'll see how much of an effect that has. Actually, I think I'm going to stick something down here as a marker so we can see how much the water comes up. Okay. So the water level, the water level should be right about where I'm standing, where that pipe is right there. And these are the pillars for the new bridge. Turns out I can't actually wait out there to put a marker because it's got enough rain that this has turned back into pretty soft mud. I would never be able to wait out there. But I think I'll just be able to use the reference to, that hopefully the next time I'm here we've got water under the bridge. Pond's always low this time of year, but that drought just really got it down this, this year. But what I'm going to go do now is... We've got a group of people coming over this weekend, hopefully after the rain's done. And we're gonna be doing a bonfire and grilling out here. So I'm supposed to clear an area behind the Quonset hut. So if it does rain, we can sit in the Quonset hut and see the fire. And if it's not raining, we can take the chairs out and actually sit around the fire. And I've made a big mess back here. With that mulch I hauled off from that property cleanup job, I thought that mulch would make a good bedding for the wood yard. And then I decided not to even put the wood yard there. So now <laughs> I've got to clean it up. Somebody challenged me to a, someone challenged me to a log stacking challenge. I guess that's going around YouTube. I think Hometown Acres kind of got that kicked off, him and his neighbor, and a channel called Everything Elliot challenged me to do that. But the problem is, it's meant to be a mini excavator challenge. 
I don't have a mini excavator. The guy who challenged me doesn't have one either. He used his grapple and he set a record for the challenge. But also, you could do it by hand quicker than they're doing in the challenge. So, it's kind of cheating. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this challenge. I could use the thumb on the tractor backhoe, see how it compares as far as that speed. But if that doesn't, I might do it both ways. If I do it, I might do the grapple and the backhoe. So there's the Quonset hut. We're wanting to sit inside there. We'll set the food up in there and then have a fire out here. Uh, they lifted the burn ban already and then it's supposed to rain the next two days straight. So we should be clear to have a little fire out here, maybe build a fire pit out of some rock or something. But right now I need to get all of this pushed up out of the way. I'm gonna have to select some wood I wanna burn in that fire pit. Really, I got a lot of work to do and not much time, so I, I guess I'll stop talking. that whole pile but I think this log right here needs to go on the firewood pile as I was bucking up that big hackberry which is where some of this came from I got a couple of comments saying that I was putting good firewood logs into my brush pile and I was just focused on trying to get that tree on the ground and get it dealt with but now as I look at it you guys were right. A lot of this needs to be moved over to the firewood pile. And so I took the extra time right now and just sorted through some of it. Bye, baby. Fire pit out of rocks that big, it's not going to give that round shape you want. 
but I also don't want a fire pit where I'm putting these, so I'm going to have to move them again. One of those things I'd rather not be doing, but here I am doing it, so um, I thought if I used the biggest rocks possible, then it would be easier to take it down. Now there's one more rock down there. This last rock I can barely even move with the skid loader, so it weighs a good four to five thousand pounds. I'm gonna try to bring it up. We'll see if I can lift it. this but the back of the skid loader is not touching the ground it's uh I can't really lift it come up and then curl maybe wow yeah the back of the skid loader I wish I had a camera outside of the loader and I am completely off the ground if I can get under a little bit better we'll try one more time idea but we're gonna drag it up there That is a so that is a rock pile that I dug out from somewhere else. I can't even remember what we were doing when I dug all this rock up. Now that's gonna bug me that I can't remember where all this rock came from. Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. But I need bigger rock, and this is the biggest rock I got, so I guess we'll make it work. So uh got my grandson here. He's been inspecting my work. He's a little bit put out that we're having a bonfire for the grown-ups and not for the kids. So I think we're going to have to do this twice so we can cook some hot dogs out here. Yeah, and with some marshmallows. So we've had a couple of fire pits like this that were at different locations that were made out of rock that size. But it takes a long time to get that stacked well, and I'm going to be taking this back apart, so I don't want to put that kind of time in it tonight. Before I quit on this for the day, I just found a couple of big rocks. I'm going to see if I can bridge across here, or maybe move all those and put those under. We'll see.
I've got a life goal to one day make a video without knocking my camera over. We'll see. What do you think? I think we put some chairs around that, fill it full of wood. That'll do the job. Actually, I think I've got enough time. I could fill up a basket with that firewood. That's it's not really that dry, but for this, it ought it ought to work. That hackberry that I cut up for with the skid steer log splitter, it's chunked a little bit big in places, like it needs split again. I think it'd be perfect. So I. Should have just enough time to fill a tote with that and bring it up here. I think I'll set it under the roof so it stays out of the rain. You want to help me go put some firewood in that tote? How? Down here. We'd pick it up and throw it in there. Yeah, let's go do it. Thumbs up on that. We can it with yeah, if you guys didn't see it, I demonstrated a couple days ago the skid steer log splitter. It makes really quick work of giant rounds, but the downside to it is unless you want to spend more time on it, it doesn't split that finely. So a lot of this, like I would have split that one more time the next time I'm out here splitting wood. But for a big open fire pit like that, it'll be perfect. Same thing, if I was selling this to someone, to burn in their wood stove, this isn't dry enough. But for up there, it's not like we have to worry about creosote, so it's gonna burn. That was a winner. Okay, we're out here for day two. I've taken care of everything else I had to take care of. Now I'm probably gonna mix concrete in the rain. So right now I need to get all my excess attachments out of here and start making room so we can open this up and because we're having our event tomorrow. And then I've got to mix concrete in these eight pots. And we're gonna we're gonna create some portable light poles basically and we're going to put these led string lights across them and those those containers are going to be filled with concrete and that's going to be what weights these down so you can really tell it is that rain keeps getting pushed further back in the day but it's about to drop it's the winds picking up and you can just feel it's coming
Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera this way so the lighting is a little better. See this box right here? That is something that a company just sent me for the tractor. Something I don't have yet. Obviously it's not huge, it fits in that box. And it's pretty darn heavy. So if anyone has any guesses about what's in the box, put, it, put that in the comments. So it's, it's heavy, but uh, I don't know, this one already weighs 100. Now it's more than 100 pounds, I bet. But I wanna see if anyone can guess it. All right, I'm gonna go grab the concrete mixer. Uh, let's see if we can get power and water out this far. We have power! I thought I had plenty of extra concrete from previous jobs, but I've got eight of these, seven bags of concrete, and I think these would hold more than one bag. I think what I will do, I think I've got a few more bags down in the other shed. I'm gonna go grab one more. Just do one bag per pot, and if it's not full, that's okay. We can always weigh it down with some more clean rock off the driveway. Those are all 80 pound bags and the other one's 55, but I won't tell if you don't. What we're, what we're trying to accomplish here is to get those two by fours to stand straight up and down in these so we can string lights around them and have it out around our seating area. Concern is how long does it take for that concrete to get hard enough to hold the post up? So I'm gonna try to mix it a little bit thicker. I'm still debating if I want to close the ends in on this building. For this right here, it'd be really handy to keep it dry if it starts raining, but then for the weekend, it's going to be nice having it open, so we'll see. I got three different types of concrete mix here. They all three say high strength. I wonder if they sell any that say weak, pathetic weak concrete or anything, or if they're all high strength. That wind's getting real. First one's always the worst one. I'm gonna spill half of it. Half of it didn't come out anyway. I think I put the reverse jinx on it. That actually went smooth. Done. First try. What do you think? See how many of you can relate to this. The wife says, I want eight flower pots with two by four standing up in them. You need to figure out some way to do that. And I said, well, I don't know how to do that, but we'll figure something out. Then you wait till the day you're supposed to do it and you didn't figure anything out. So uh, I'm gonna finish this one and go inside and get out of this rain and think about it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do seven more of these. So if you got a suggestion how to make these two by fours stand up in these buckets, you let me know.
The rain has really started to come down out there. This has turned into an unplanned YouTube fiasco. And in 12 hours, I'm supposed to have a bunch of stuff done that I am barely even started. So I'll be working on it tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you got a suggestion how I can make boards stand up inside these pots. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Put links on the screen to more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.